So one of the most common things that OSU Extension is known for is soil testing. So there are a lot of reasons we soil test, but this video is simply to show you how to take a good, proper, representative soil test of what is out on your property. So we have a tool here called a soil probe, and it takes cores. And that's what this tube is right here. So what you would do, you'd go by, push that, push that probe down into the ground, give it a good twist, pull it back up, and if I walk it up to the camera right here, we can see that we've got probably about eight to 10 inches of a core. So we've got our little bit of topsoil right here, and we've even got a little bit of the farther down soil. A little bit of a life hack if you're doing this, have a knife or a screwdriver or something that you can just finagle in there and pop right into the bucket. Now, that was a bit of dirt, not a crazy amount, but a bit of dirt. And honestly, probably about three or four cores would fill this up, but that is not how many we wanna do for the soil test. We wanna do 10 to 15 cores or samples per soil test. And the reason why is if I was only take, especially in this 20 acre field, let alone someone's front yard or backyard, if I was only to take five or six samples in there, we might have only taken them in an area that had high nitrogen at the time or high phosphorus amount and the other side didn't. Or worse, vice versa, we've got an area that is nutrient deficient that we took and an area that wasn't and we end up burning that other side. So we wanna take a good random sample of what the field has to offer. So we'll take our 10 to 15 cores, put them in a bucket, or what I have seen plenty of people do, just put every single one of them in a Ziploc freezer bag. When taking samples, I like to pick points. Uh, in this instance, I picked the cottonwood tree kind of in the middle of the frame and walked towards it to take, oh, four or five of the probes, then turned and walked towards a telephone pole and then made my way back to the camera. So we've gotten our samples taken. And actually, if you look in this bucket, I don't know if we can see on the camera, um, close here where the camera was, man, it was like, uh, a blacker soil. I got farther over to the tree line over there and it started turning a redder color. So that just tells you, just on this little 20 acres here, the difference that you can have um, on the soil type or maybe what the nutrients might be out there. Once we've gotten our 10 to 15 samples, I use that same screwdriver, knife, whatever, use your hands. Get that mixed up and incorporated together. And I've got it labeled with my name, and uh, what sample it is. I'm only taking one in this instance, so really I don't need to have it out there, but uh, go ahead and zip it up, take it in the office, pay for it, and we'll send it off whenever it's ready. Follow K County OSU Extension on social media to keep up to date on upcoming events, educational information, and research-based information. Thank you for watching.